Since the original Subaru Ascent was launched for the 2019 model year, automotive technology has advanced at an astounding rate. Now for 2023, the Ascent has been refreshed and with that come updates to technology that will make it more appealing to adventurous families. Let's take a look. Let's start by going over the most significant update, which is in the infotainment system. The 8-inch screen from previous model years has been replaced with a portrait-oriented 11.6-inch infotainment screen found in other Subaru vehicles such as the Outback and WRX. In the Ascent, the screen is standard and includes over-the-air updates for the infotainment system as well as for the built-in navigation system found on the Limited and Premier trims. Can you live without the navigation system? Well, on the one hand, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are offered on the Ascent for the first time this model year, and they're standard with this system, so you'll have easy access to navigation directly from your mobile phone. On the other hand, the built-in system comes with what three words, a technology that lets you navigate to any location with precision by entering its corresponding three-word identifier. If you regularly take roads less traveled, this technology is especially useful. The Ascent's dashboard has been redesigned around this screen, and the smaller instrument screen formerly at the top center of the dashboard has been replaced with the cameras for Subaru's driver focus system, which is now equipped on the top two trims. USB-C ports are now standard for the first and second rows in addition to USB-A's, and both port types are also available for the third row. The resolution on the rear view camera here is significantly better than those found in other Subaru vehicles, and the camera washer that's tied to the rear wiper washer is standard equipment. A digital rear view mirror and a surround view camera that integrates side and front view cameras are available on the Ascent for the first time, both included on the top Premier trim. And a new feature called Cabin Connect, offered on the Limited and Premier trims, allows occupants in the front row to use the Bluetooth microphones to project their voices backward to the third row. This works well in combination with the two-stage sunglass holder that doubles as a mirror with a view to the back of the cabin. What you still won't find in the Ascent? A wireless charging pad, which is a shame because it would be great to have this in combination with wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. A digital instrument cluster, since Subaru still uses analog speedometers and tachometers. Or a head-up display. The 2023 also receives some styling updates, including a larger grille with a prominent accent line connecting the redesigned LED headlights, which include both steering response and automatic high beams as standard. The front bumper cover now has air ducts integrated to improve aerodynamic flow underneath the vehicle. At the back, the tail lights have been redesigned into a C-shape. Vertical lumbar adjustment for the driver's seat is now included on the top two trims, and Napa leather is equipped on the Premier trim. There are no changes to the powertrain for 2023. Subaru's 2.4-liter turbocharged engine with four horizontally opposed cylinders creates 260 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque. As is typical of Subaru SUVs, all-wheel drive is standard, here including brake-based torque vectoring. The engine and the high-torque CVT are mounted closer to the ground than average, which lowers the ascent center of gravity and gives it a more car-like drive feel in spite of its size and its 22 centimeters of ground clearance. All trims but the base convenience are capable of towing up to 2,270 kilograms, which is 5,000 pounds, and include trailer stability assist. Trims from Onyx and Upward include Subaru's Dual Mode X Mode feature, which adds an extra function for driving through deep snow or mud in addition to the standard snow and dirt functionality. Hill descent control is also part of the X Mode system. On the safety side, the Ascent's EyeSight system has been updated to version 4. This introduces two important updates to every Ascent. The main cameras looking to the sides now offer a 68% wider field of view, and a third camera mounted in between improves slow speed operation. Add in updated control software and the addition of an electric brake booster, then Subaru says the system now recognizes pedestrians or cyclists sooner when entering intersections at lower speeds. Automatic emergency braking will aid in avoiding collisions at speeds below 80 km per hour. The IIHS rated the Ascent a top safety pick plus in 2022, but the 2023 model hasn't yet been rated. Also new for 2023 is the option to choose between 7 or 8 seat configurations on the Touring and Limited trims with no difference in price. In Canada, Ascent pricing starts at $40,995 for the base 8 seat convenience trim. This is an increase of $3,700 over the 2022 base model, but is in line with entry level pricing for the segment. The Touring trim is priced at $45,495. The Onyx 7 seat trim at $47,295, Limited at $50,895 and the top premier trim at $53,995. Delivery charges add $1,995 to these costs, and the 2023 Accent is arriving now at Canadian dealerships. 
With just a couple of features remaining off the table, the refreshed 2023 Subaru Ascent's mix of classic all-condition drivability and updated technology hits a sweet spot and brings this largest Subaru back into the conversation for families who would like to spend their free time off the beaten path. For driving.ca, I'm Stephanie Wallcraft. For more SUV reviews and other features, hit the button to subscribe or follow us on social media.